Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir. Euh, C'est avec grand plaisir que je vous souhaite la bienvenue à encore septième conférence sur la politique scientifique canadienne. Euh, C'est tr très chanceuse que nous avons cette conférence dans l'ambiance de changement, de l'espoir partout au Canada, mais spécialement dans la communauté scientifique. The excitement that I see within the scientific community is exceptional, and I have never seen this before. I must say the parallel is the, with the uh, time that uh, 2008 election in the US. I went to the conference, AAAS conference in Washington DC in 2009, and I saw the sel same level of excitement and buzz. And it's good to be excited, to see hope for change, for positivity, and we should celebrate that. And CSPC is the place to celebrate that excitement, that notion of hope. And of course, it's for conversation and discussion for positive change for future. As we know, science enterprise facing a huge challenges, lots of challenges ahead of us. To my humble opinion, the first and the most important, increased investment in research and development. We are lagging behind the OECD nations, at least 1% of GDP behind of the average of the OECD nations. And that translates into millions and billions of dollar additional investment in the next couple of years to get into the average of OECD nations. And the second, the exercise of the evidence and science-informed decision-making. That's a very complex issue and requires collaborative work together across sectors, across disciplines, and across governments. And the third is the engagement of scientific community in order to design the policies for science enterprise to make sure that scientists and scientific community in all sectors are engaged in policy makings at different levels of advisory and consultations. On top of that, to my view, a science advisor for the Prime Minister of Canada. That's the most important one. And ladies and gentlemen, you know that scientific community should do its own share and due diligence in order to ensure that it's well prepared for the new era in our country. Proper and, and efficient channels of interactions and communications with the rest of society, especially political community, the media, and the public at large, to ensure that science is at the forefront of various societal issues. That's very important. And that's why we are here to discuss these issues, particularly this year and tonight. We are honored to have two distinguished guests, Dr. Art McDonald, Sarah Peter Glogman. Thank you very much for being here with us. And I and I'm, sh I'm sure everybody else is looking forward to hearing from you, your insights on the issues. And just a few words of thank you. Certainly the con this conference would not have happened with the, without the contributions of various individuals and organizations from across the country to make it happen. On top of the list is the board of directors of CSPC. I just want to personally thank them for their support throughout the year. Second, the organizations who supported financially Without them, this conference would not have existed. And the third, last, but certainly not the least, almost 50 volunteers who worked with me across the country over the course of the last 10 months to put this conference together. And they must be recognized and acknowledged. And for that, I want to ask them to please come up to the stage. Ariella, please. Come on. Nick, Sandra. And I know. These are just a few of them who are here with us tonight. There are many more that couldn't make it. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing team of CSPC 2015. Merci beaucoup encore et bonne soirée.